Yeah, but I'm not worried too much right now about the building clipping and spawning and all of that because um, I don't think those are the final buildings I'm going to have. Uh, so um, I'll come back to that detail later. And in fact, that's a great question, Josh. Josh asked, uh, so uh, they're all uh, would it be okay for the buildings to clip through the ground uh, plane just a little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but I'm not going to um, do that right now because it's a not a great use of time at this point because I know I'm going to eventually change those buildings and they may change in height, they may change where they're going, so I'm not going to uh, finish off with those buildings. Um, <clears throat> so I did put a trigger in. Let's try this, Josh. I think, actually, we need to rebuild that last script and see if that actually changed anything. Got it. It's going to spawn the same building list, both sides, at the same time. We're eventually going to split that, but I think what we need to do is write ourselves a building building spawner because we can't. Uh, we our logic now gets a little bit. Um, it's going to start getting messy because uh, either we need to build a lot more buildings into that block so that it doesn't um, uh, when it starts it, there's enough buildings there for the next one but actually let's do that because I'll show you the, the I'll show you the problem with that uh, and in fact Josh just for you I will move all the buildings slightly down so that they're clipping through the ground. And it's not a waste of time. It makes you happy. <laughs> okay, so let's take all five of these buildings. Control D. Uh, I notice I moved them this way this time because I want to keep my spawn point in the center uh, of the grouping, I think. I'm going to try that. Um, and we'll see how this goes. That's double the size, right? So let's get this, apply that. Notice, uh, <clears throat> hold on, let's hit revert, see if that works. No, okay. Did you notice that when I copied these, right, they went into the prefab, but they're all black, right? They're all black text. I want them to be blue text. So what I wanted to do is, I'm um, going to delete these. After I added them, I went back to the parent object and I hit apply so that they're all inside the uh, 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 <clears throat> inside the prefab. So now, when the prefab spawns, it should be a pretty long block of buildings. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Let's. Uh... Yeah, this one didn't delete. Samana Beach. All right, let's go back and look at that. Doesn't. That's going to be an issue now that we're, that we're uh, spawning larger blocks. So building spawn left should destroy the spawned game object. Finish spawning, move to location, building spawn left, spawn, spawn point. Uh, it should be the building spawn right. Relative building move time finished. They're exactly the same, correct? So I think um, I do think I've got a copy and paste piece going on here because my logic looks fine, right? interesting. If this doesn't work this time, uh, 
I am going to uh, we're going to switch methods because uh, already the way that I'm trying to do this is uh, not the way I want to go and uh, this is part of the reason is that the logic has started to become um, not the logic but the graph sorry the graph has started to become uh, very unwieldy as far as what it's doing when it's a pretty straight sequence but uh, it's a little sloppy with this receive signal uh, send signal uh, business and uh, oh hey you know by the way I actually think that's part of my issue I'm sending two signals which means that uh, I'm probably overloading uh, this graph so we'll just track one and I think what's happening is instead of deleting uh, it's deleting buildings correctly uh, just that there's more buildings there than we think because it's receiving that signal twice. Um, uh, let's see. One of them is working correctly. It's working correctly. It's working really well. Uh, yeah, actually, Josh, I'm not using uh, the collider yet. I was going to use the collider, but now it's there just for uh, for just in cases. Uh, let's okay. delete this. Delete this one. Action game object. Destroy. Let's do this again. Finished moving is how I'm destroying it right now. So basically after 0.75 uh, seconds to move into that transition, which I slowed them down, um, they're destroying. So let's do this action. Destroy. I think what's happening is um, maybe my destroy block wasn't working. So let's put a new one in. Uh, and send this signal yeah so yes so I noticed the other thing about that Josh is since it's destroyed on a on a on a set time the reason I chose that last time we did this is it keeps everything in one uh, sort of logic block and it's guaranteed that at that time it will go and it avoids any collider bugs right now because I don't really need uh, that complexity. Now we're going to switch over to uh, splitting the logic from um, controlling it all from DB main uh, to doing something more like um, spawn logic is separate from destroy logic, right? Because uh, the, the conditions are going to change. Uh, so I want to be able to tune those conditions uh, which is why I want to move it into uh, uh, a quote-unquote physical object in the world because then I'll be able to define things a little bit easier than just uh, tuning the timing. So what I'll do is now have uh, buildings control their own um, destruction. Uh, and in fact, well, let's test this. I just don't want to let it go yet. Uh, let's test this for a second. Okay, building, building, building. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna scrap all of that shit. Let's just let's just move into uh, a better way to do this. I am actually going to remove all of this. Actually, I'm not gonna remove it yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook it. Right? I may come back and debug this stuff later. Uh, what that means now is um, nothing will spawn. Right? Uh, actually, let's do this on graph enable. Um, Let's, what's first in my building list is the block. Let's change this logic to B, uh, spawn the first one. Let's, okay, uh, get the game object, prefab, spawn it, move to location, 
and then I am going to unhook destroy and the send signal part and we are going to save that. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. I'm going to look at the timing functions here for a second real quick. <clears throat> so stopwatch one look like. No, it's not exactly what I want. And what I want is... Get run time. Yeah, okay. Um, kill this. Let's, get, let's do this, Josh. I'm going to do a little bit of a different logic on our spawning. So I'm going to focus on spawning real quick. Um, actually, I'm going to come back to this, but remember that we're going to touch this time thing. Remind me about that. Save. Because uh, I think now when we play it, it's going to be um, a little bit against your OCD and my OCD where the uh, buildings will not delete themselves. And that's just going to get messy. Hey, buildings. Oh. And more buildings don't spawn. So let's, let's, let's complete the loop. So let's at least get the buildings uh, deleting themselves. Let's go back to uh, here. Let's make a new one. I'm going to hit save right away. And we'll just call this uh, building. I'm going to do this. No! I did not want to assign that to the master graph. Hold on. <clears throat> Thanks, Josh. Josh, it's you! Okay, so mm, I assigned my U script to the master. I did not want to do that. I'm going to pull this off, remove this component. That's the easy fix. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, so I think uh, this, um, shit, it's still going to want to do this. Can I do this? Come on, come on. No. Save, save as. Okay, I can't remove. There's a way to remove the scene. But let's do it this way instead. I am going to um, locate source. All right, and now we're going to get a little bit of a a different look at how uScript works. So there's a folder in here called uScript. It says generated code. I'm going to get this one. Actually, hold on. Go here. Uh, let's go back to, to object main because what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that script. This is the only way to do this. <clears throat> so generated code, object building, and object building component. Delete both of these. That's deleting the generated code. Now, however, we need to go back to, um, I don't want to look at nodes. I want to go to uh, uScript here, get the one, this is the script that generates that code. Uh, so I'm going to delete this as well. However, while we're here, so this is the graph file. Um, let's go into the generated co code folder and I might as well show you what the uh, main script looks like real quick in C Sharp. Uh, while that's loading, let's go back over here. Let's notice that my um, object building script is gone. Let's go back here. New. Okay, let's save this again. OBJ building. 